hazardous tales. So there's this guy named John Wesley Powell. He had an amazing mustache and a wild, crazy head of hair. Powell was an artillery guy in the Civil War. He found himself in charge of a whole artillery unit, the guys with the cannons. So they were out there one day, and they found themselves suddenly in the middle of the Battle of Shiloh. People were dying left and right, Union, Confederate soldiers dying every which way, and John Wesley Powell was racing around on his horse trying to get everything under control. He raised his captain's sword to give his artillerymen the signal to fire, and he was struck in the arm by something called a minie ball. When you hear ball, you think of like a round bullet, but no, this was a pointy bullet made of soft lead that flattened out and destroyed the bones in his arms. Sadly, as you might have guessed, he lost the arm after getting hit by that minie ball. Well, when the Civil War was over, he said, I'm not done. I want to be an explorer. And they said, where do you want to explore? And he said, well, look at this mystery spot on the map. Giant Canyon is down there. He and his crew spent 99 days down in that giant canyon. We now know it as the Grand Canyon. Major Powell led 10 explorers down into those canyons in four boats. 99 days later, six men came out. This is all in my new book, Major Impossible. 128 pages of Civil War mayhem and Grand Canyon adventures. It's a great story about an explorer. Look, he even has a mustache when he's a kid. Look at that. It's an epic adventure with a big war and a really big canyon. Entry number nine in the Hazardous Tales series. So please, keep your eyes peeled for John Wesley Powell and his amazing story in Major Impossible. This book comes out in December 2019, exactly 150 years after John Wesley Powell's voyage down the Grand Canyon.